In today's A-level IB chemistry video, we're going to be looking at intermolecular forces. This is an introductory video, so we'll just be listing the different types of intermolecular force. In later videos, we'll talk about what sorts of scenarios you need in order for those forces to come about. So just to remind ourselves, however, first of all, if I draw a water molecule here, remember that water has the chemical formula of H2O. We've got a central oxygen atom surrounded by two hydrogen atoms. And I'm just showing those outer electrons. Now remember, the bond that forms between two non-metal elements is a covalent bond. Remember, we're not interested in metals at all when we're looking at molecules. There are no metals that are found in molecules. And remember that a covalent bond is effectively a shared pair of electrons, which we can see here has taken place. So I'm going to redraw my water, but effectively as it would look if I'd made the structure out of molymods, which you may have done in the lab. So there's one water molecule, there's a second water molecule. Now, between water molecules there are attractions, so between molecules there are attractions. With water it occurs between the hydrogen and oxygen atom, but notice that we call these attractions intermolecular forces, which is obviously what this video is all about. So intermolecular forces occur between molecules, and they are weaker than the covalent bonds found between atoms of a molecule. So it's so essential that you know that when we're talking about intermolecular forces, we're looking at the weak forces holding together molecules, whereas covalent bonding is what holds the atoms in place within the molecule. Now we're looking at the different types of intermolecular forces. So let's start with the weakest set, which are the London forces. And like I said, in another video, we'll talk about how these actually come about. The second type of intermolecular force you need to know about is dipole dipole forces. Now depending on your specification they may collect these together slightly differently because there is a collective name for both of these forces which is van der Waals. So double check your spec. Maybe they just want you to know it as van der Waals. Other specs will want you to know that there are two types, London forces and dipole dipole forces. The last set, which are actually pretty strong really, they're not your typical weak intermolecular force. This is hydrogen bonding and this only can occur between hydrogen and a highly electronegative element such as fluorine, nitrogen or oxygen. And we'll talk about electronegativity in the next video. So yeah, just be aware that an intermolecular force occurs between molecules and that there are three types you need to be aware of.